Hey, welcome to the channel today. I want to thank Tim Graves and Callaway Golf for get, getting me the latest gear for 2021. And we're going to show you what's going in the bag this year. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're going to go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm excited because I get to open up the new stuff that yeah, my brother stuff. helped me get. And what I thought we would do is a lot of you ask me, you know, what goes in my bag? What clubs am I hitting? You ask me to do what's in the bag all the time. But I thought it would be probably better if we, if Tim helped us kind of showed us why we made the decisions we made on the equipment based, you know, my game as right. well oh, as yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah. And so Tim, you know, Tim and I sit down and we look at the current equipment we're hitting. We will do some comparisons to that and look at the new stuff that you got me to say, why did we decide on these shafts sure. or whatever? So I'm but, excited. But, but first of all, before we go into that, before, because we're going to have to decide if you want to start top to bottom or bottom yeah. to top. You start with the irons to go to the driver. But remember, the, the first thing we're doing when we fit you is we're always going to have the basic measurements. We got your height your wrist to floor measurement, your hand size. So to get you in a perfect single plane fit, we've got those measurements. Whether it's you or one of our students or whoever it is, we've always got that in a file. So when you're talking to me and say, I want to change my equipment, I want to change my driver, I want to change my iron, I want to change a wedge, I can always pull up your fittings. I mean, you're not getting any taller. Our hands aren't getting any bigger. Our wrist to floor isn't changing. I'm just getting slower. We're, yeah, and we're getting shorter. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> okay. But yeah. no, that's what we're doing. Yeah. And so really, honestly, the difference between the older equipment, and I say last year's year before the new equipment, <laughs> It's the specs are kind of the same, and now we can start tweaking. And that's the beauty of what we're doing, because when we start going through this equipment, you're going to see what we did here. Well, answer this, though. I mean, I, I, I'm just asking rhetorical mm -hmm. yeah, questions yeah. here, but how important is fitting? Uh, it's, it's absolutely 100% critical. I mean, I don't think people understand it enough. And, you know, they may understand, like, they see TV, you know, they're fit for a driver. They may see TV, they're fit for a certain club. It's crazy how many people aren't fit for the wedges. It's crazy how many people aren't fit for the putter. It's crazy how many people aren't. I mean, even the guys that come to our school, they've been with us for many years, and all of a sudden they say, is this important? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And you know as well as I can ask you this question. I said, and this is the question I ask you or ask all of our staff. What's the chance one of our students can sit up properly with unfit, improperly fit equipment? Matter of fact, it's the worst part of, for me, when I, like, like I, we travel a lot, right. and I'll do exhibitions and right. stuff, and sometimes I don't take my gear because it's like I'm in there for one day and I want to take all my equipment in there. It's, and somebody hands me their golf club. I'm like, God, I hate people. I hate anything but my own equipment. And, it's the, and I've said this a million times, and, and, we, and we're, we're the ones that do it, but how many times do we send a webinar? And me and you are doing a webinar together, and we've got thousands of people watching this, and somebody will write in a question and say, I can't quite get in that shoulder tilt. I can't quite get in that distance to the oh, ball. Yeah, distance from the ball. And it never, it never fails. You'll answer the question, or I will. You turn around and you go, improperly fit equipment. Yeah. So, so so like you guys, so that's a common question we get asked about the single plane swing is how far do I stand from the ball? I never question that for me because my clubs fit. Right. The length and the line angle of the club fit me to the proper distance. I just, I just basically, the club does it for me. Well, what you I just can't said do was, it. What you just said was huge there. The club does it for you. So if you have an improperly fit piece of equipment from a wedge to an iron to a hybrid to a driver. You're fighting it. You can't, you can't do it. Yeah. You, you literally can't do it. I mean, everything's improper. And, and that's the biggest thing we see because think about it. Right now, if anybody asks us a question, we get hundreds of emails a day on questions. And they're sitting there having difficulty with their setup, which is probably a third of the emails or half the emails we get. You know the high majority of them, if not all of them, have improperly fit equipment. So, But for us to sit there and say, well, you need to get properly fit equipment, it feels like a sales, sales technique, but it's not. It's the proper tool to get in the proper position for their size. So back to that original point, I know your height. I know your arm length. I know your wrist and floor measurement. I know your hand My size. swing speed. Right. And then now we start taking, and as we know that, now we start taking things into account like swing speed. Is it slowing down? No, most people don't speed up unless they're young. Is it slowing down? Do we want a little softer shaft? And that's what we'll talk about here. We start going through because that's yeah. what we did in your clubs. Um, I'm just going to pull a few out, but we, okay. I don't want to go through these yet. Okay. Let me just set them here for a second, the longer ones. I want to talk irons first. Okay. So I... I mean, I don't know what's even in the box. I don't know what you, I don't <laughs> so know everything gets it's, in It's here. like Christmas, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's Christmas. It's Christmas here on, on the range. So there's some hybrids coming out. So you really haven't pulled these out. No, no, so. I, I haven't even opened no. them up. I yeah. thought, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought he was lying to us. I thought no, he hit him last rapper. night in the secret, but he, he hasn't. Here, hold so this, I mean, this, look, see the irons are still in the box They're still too. in the box. <laughs> there's a box in a box. That's actually kind of funny. That's hard to believe that you, you didn't open your Christmas no, present early. I was waiting you, for you. You were the one that go to a Christmas tree and open the dang I know, presents early. I was early. waiting for you. <laughs> so, All right, so okay. what irons did you okay. get me here? Well, we actually, when we talked about it, you wanted a cavity back iron that was a forged type feel that had some offset, but not a lot. And honestly, that, I mean, Callaway came out with it, that new Apex 21 um, forged iron. And so 
Now they have three or four, actually there's four different Apexes, but this is the one that is the Apex 21 that is basically the standard 21, which is 2021. So it's a forged iron. Now the biggest difference in this iron for you that you're gonna see compared to your last year's irons is this has a tungsten insert in the bottom of the club now, when, which means there's a lot, tungsten's the heaviest weight they can put in a small amount of quantity. They put it in the sole of the club. So that's why you have a little bit of insert back, a little bit in back, a little channel back here. But what's gonna happen on this is there's more weight in the bottom of the club, so they're gonna kick the ball higher. So there's a lower center of gravity. Well, when they did that, because the ball was going so high, they had to de-loft them a little bit. Mm, which is so nice. these lofts are gonna be about two degrees stronger than your last year's loft. We had a loft. term for that, what'd you call it's that? It's called loft jacking. Loft jacking. And it's really interesting because Dave Novell, when I went out to Callaway and talked to him, he said, we're, we're criminals, we're called loft jackers. And I started laughing at him. I was like, I never heard it. And I guess I should have. And he said that the industry claims they, they jack the lofts and they make a club so much longer, but they don't. Because if this had the loft of your last year's clubs, this would have gone so high for this club, it would have been hard for you to control it. Right. It would have been shot in the air. So they de-lofted a couple degrees, and but they're going as high as your last. So this 9-iron right here will go just as high as your last year's 9-iron, but longer because it's de-lofted a little That's bit. That's what I need. Yep. But you know okay. what? For me, a couple things. I mean, this is the way it looks is so important to me. Right. The offset and the top line and stuff like that. So it looks pretty similar to last year. A little different, but pretty similar. And then... You, you decided we went with a lighter shaft. Yeah, well, here's what happened. Last year, when we put, we didn't put a nice graphite here, and you have graphite in all your irons. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's to protect the elbows, protect the shoulders, protect the back. I mean, you play some golf, you're playing a little bit more now, but graphite is protection, okay? It, you know, graphite will absorb up to 90% of the shot between 85 and 90%, steel absorbs 10 to 15. So we've got to go graphite to protect. But last year, you were swinging a 110 to 115 gram shaft in your irons. In mm -hmm. fact, I think last year at a 110. Yeah. Well, we, you, when we talked about your irons this year, you said, I'm not getting any younger. You said, I, you actually said this to me. You said, I get a little bit sore and I go practice a lot. When you do demos, you want to be able to hit a few more clubs and not get sore and you want a distance. So the two biggest things we can do to help you not be sore anymore, keep the graphite, lighten it up a little bit. So we went with a 95 gram shaft. So we basically took off about 15 grams. Now, a lot of people out there won't think that's a lot. It's going to feel significant to you. Right. So we took 15 out. Now, we kept the same stiffness. It's still a stiff flex shaft, so we didn't change that. Because your swing speed, you talked about how far you hit your 9-iron, your 6-iron. How far do you hit your 9-iron right now, do you think? 140. Okay. Your 6-iron, how far do you think? Uh, one, let me see. One set, 178, yeah. Yeah. something like that. Which is right in the mid-stiff. Mid yeah. If your 9-iron was 150, you're looking extra stiff. And so in that 140, you're not going to get any longer than that, right? Yeah. And that's so... I wish. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, this might be a little bit longer than that. This might go a little me, bit longer. For me, you know, it's like, it's like the more I play, you know, you start getting, in the summertime, I'm warmed up. Uh, it's easier to warm up. It's the ball's flying further. I start hitting different distances. Right. But like in the middle of the winter, where we just came out of the winter right now, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm hitting it shorter right now. Right. But, you know, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be six to seven yards longer in t a month from now. Right. You know, when I'm playing some more. Yeah. So the length of the club, you're actually 0.25 inch over standard, okay? Okay, cool. So that's over standard. The lying of the club, believe it or not, for this club, you're actually two degrees flat of standard for this club. Okay, I'm too okay? flat, right? You're too flat. So that's, that, hey, explain that, because okay. so many people think that they should be upright on the single plane slope. Well, it's how far you stand from it, and, and that's the point. And, and you can actually set up over one. We'll put, we'll put this stuff up, and we'll have you set up, and we'll show you. Because I'll have you set up in a traditional type setting. Okay. Okay, so I'll have you set up. So if you were going to, so let's take a ball right now, okay, and set up like, and I know this is hard for you, but let's set up like it's in a conventional type setting. So like you're a traditional swear conventional. Okay. So normally, what club do we have right there? A seven. Okay, so normally we should be about what, 25 inches from that ball with that club, right? Right. Okay, well right now, what do you think you are? Probably 20 maybe? 22, the most? yeah. Okay, well right now, if you're this close to the ball, this toe of this club is going to be lifted up. Mm -hmm. Because, in other words, right now, the way this club is set up, the toe is what? It's going to dig in the ground. Right. So the, more, the closer you are to the ball, the more upright it has to be or the toe is going to dig. Well, now go into your normal setup. Well, there's your normal setup right now. Now that club's flat in the ground. Am I right? Right. right. That's, okay. why, that's what feels right right, right there. So yeah. if you took a typical person and they were, no matter their height, whatever, and you said, I want to go from traditional to, con to a traditional conventional swing to a single plane, the club will always be flatter for them when they go. Now, the club might be upright compared to standard on somebody really tall, yeah, right. right? Or okay, but it will always be flatter than the traditional right, swing, right. than they're the further away. Yeah. So, but, in other words, you need to get fit based on your height, but, and your arm length, and so your arm length, arm, arm right? Right. So, in, in overall, most of the time they're flatter than your normal the normal clubs are hitting. Your traditional clubs. Now, yeah. they will be flatter. Now, if you had a guy that's six foot two, six foot three, compared to standards, his would be upright. 
Right. Now, or you know, it says to be upright compared to standard. And the other right. thing that I want to mention about that, real quick, is that I'm going to take this jacket. It's like... very. You got to be very careful here because every company's standards are different, and even within the companies, their standard within the models are different. Right. These clubs right here are a little bit flatter than the Maverick. The Maverick are a little bit more upright. Oh, really? So honestly, for a Maverick, you'd have been about two and a half degrees flat. For this one, you were two degrees flat. You see, I'm getting yourself, right. every, even within the models are set. But we do that. When we submit the fittings, we don't do it on flatness. We say we want 61 degree, we want 30, you know, how much length and so on. Right. So for you, for this club, when I sent it in, it was 0 0.25 inch over standard. It was two degrees flat. And then we did the wrappings under the grip. Right. And, you know, and the one thing about the grip on here is that just like most of our guys, you want a little bit bigger grip than traditional. You like to have a little bit of a cord on there because mm -hmm. you like you play in some rain, you play in adverse conditions, you want a little bit of cord on there. But that grip fits your hand size. It's right. not too big where you can't release the club. It's not too small where you'll death grip it. Right. So it fits your hand size. So it's feel pretty right. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, That's we, your grip. Yeah, this is, I, and, I like it. And the like interesting part about that is most people hand sizes don't change now they can get arthritis so that's different but the steering wheel of the club is the grip so when you pull out a club for the first time if that grip doesn't feel good that's my biggest thing is yeah. my, the grip how it feels in my right, hands right. and then how it looks you know how right. it's set and how it's set so the club sets yeah so it's really the line goal let of the me club hit the seven out a couple times yeah. here just to feel it because yep. these shafts i mean they're gonna be a little lighter for me than my yep. other clubs so. it's out of the box yeah so you broke it in yeah. So so literally, you're the first to hit that club ever. He broke it in. That's the first swing of that ever. Yeah. You better be in the center, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way he gets hit my clubs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks good, though. I hit that good. Yeah, that's hit pretty good there. Yeah, that's hit good. Well, here's what's interesting, and we can do this because in, in, uh, it's pretty telling right now. You haven't hit many balls, so you've hit a couple, but I'm going to tell you how telling this is because we know right now that that red flag sitting out there is that that red flag is 135. Uh, that, that, okay. that we one. know that. We practice here a lot. We know it's 135. And you told me right now that you hit your 9 iron about 140, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I got a wedge. Okay. Okay. So we're, you know, I don't want you, you just, I want you to don't overswing it. But we know that red flag is 135. Okay. okay. So and there's very little wind today compared to Oklahoma. It's very little wind. This club, the, the wedge a little more rounded on the top. Toe, you toe, toe, yep. So it's the first thing you notice was a little bit rounded yeah. on the toe. Okay. Yeah, a little different than the other ones. Tell me how the offset looks to you. Fine. Okay. That, that, that's kind of the biggest thing for me right. is offset. Hit that pretty good? Uh, not great. Okay, now let's watch where it lands. Okay, it flew, actually, it kicked right next to the red yeah, flag. Okay. So how so far is that? 135. So you just hit your wedge 135, basically. That's a good wedge for me. So what was your wedge from your other set? 125. 125, one, 125. Okay. I'm hitting really good, maybe 130 at the most. Okay, so let's never, try never well, more we know this red flag. I mean, it's marked as 135. Never more than 130. So let's try this again. Now, that was really good height for a wedge, wasn't it? Yeah. You take that all day. That'll be right at the red. You hit the red. Yep, you hit the red. Yeah, hit the red. <laughs> so you hit the red. So, so now, so if I right now, so I said that's your third or fourth swing with that wedge right out of the box, what yeah. would you say compared to your other wedge? Uh, I, 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 it's hard to tell if I haven't played, like right, I right, said, right. I got, take it on the course, mm -hmm. but it feels better just as good. Okay. Right. Now, compare it as in weight of the shaft. Does it feel lighter? Does it feel heavier? It feels lighter. Okay. It feels a little yeah, lighter? it does feel lighter. I definitely can feel okay. that. I, you know me, I like, I'm a heavy guy. Mm -hmm. I like things to feel, I like mm -hmm. to feel the weight of the club. And we even talked about right. that, you know, we'd have to try these shafts, but I mean, I, they're not too light. Right. Let's put it that way. Right. They're, well, they're on the heavy end. I mean, even for yeah. professionals, this is the heavy. This is a heavier right. end shaft. Right. So, like I said, they're not. Right. Like I hate 60 gram shafts. Well, my here's what's interesting though. But think right now, you're still swinging the club as in a stiff flex shaft. If you have, if I had students out there that need a regular flex shaft or light flex shafts, we got to get in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. This would be way too heavy for them. Yeah. But no, for it you, it, it, I don't want to say it feels light. It just feels lighter. It feels yeah. lighter yeah. than what you had. Yeah. So I hit that really good. That's the best I've hit it. See where that lands. So. Now as a fitter, that basically almost hit it, that basically hit it again. So no, here's a fitter though. So as a fitter, we gotta talk about this. How clean did that feel when it hit? Because here's what's interesting. Well, I'm gonna show well, you look, if we, look well, at the divot. Well, I mean, here, and I'm gonna show you this. And you can zoom in on this. And this, and I can actually be proud of this. This is called a dirt line, it's the old effect. Yeah. It's so the first time this was hit, and if you notice, the dirt line's dead across the club, which means that's a perfect fit. Yeah. And so, there's nothing up here. No, there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but so if you have a dirt line that's at an angle, it's either an improper swing or an improper fit. Yeah. Well, we know you don't have the improper swing, so that's a perfect fit. Tim and I always laugh because if you have dirt on top of the club, you had to chunk it. Yeah. <laughs> you had to chunk it. But here's what's other interesting, though, that's kind of interesting here. You're actually, and this is advanced work, but 
You're a three groove swinger. That's yeah. how steep your angle is. So you see three grooves, and I'm actually four to five. Interesting. I'm four to five. So I have a little bit steeper, a little bit more aggressive swing coming you're down. More shaft lean. More shaft lean coming down. You're three, which is good. So that means you're hitting about four to five. Well, you look how shallow my yeah. divots are. Well, it's yeah. also part of the range. Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty shallow range. But you notice the ball hits up here. That's into the dirt. You see the ball market. Yeah, you can see the ball market. That's into the dirt. Okay. Sweet. So like them. So we know right now that in. The biggest effect you'll see on lie is with the wedges because if it catches heel, it's going to turn big time. Right. So you got the wedge in the club, you're hitting it maybe Line five yards good. further. It felt pretty good to you, and by the dirt lie angle, it's dead on. Yeah. So, you know, with the first few so swings. They're great fitting. Yeah, so yeah. they're a good fit. So, yeah. that, so basically, what we did is I put the wedge, I think I, we got the gap wedge through, and oh, what, what that. I, what's that? Yeah, just, just gap, just okay. the gap. Yep. Yeah. So we got the gap wedge through the five iron for you in there. And um, so then we went, so that's what we did with the irons. So we put a nice graphite shaft in there, the length, line angle, shaft flex, grip size, we're all set for you. Well now, talk set makeup, because I want to talk about these hybrids here. Yeah. So. Now we'll talk set makeup, because this is this was the big one when I was dealing with them, <laughs> okay? Because he still wants to young, act like the young game, because he doesn't, but he's starting to play more now, so he's going to get a reality check. Because when I go out and play on the road, and I'm playing with guys that are 50, 55, 60 or older, and they're my, in my section events, we carry five hybrids, we carry four hybrids. In fact, this last week I was playing a turn up in Wichita and half of the group guys had six hybrids in their bag. That have freaked you out. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're pulling out six hybrids. I still got a three iron that I Todd still has three iron in his bag. I can't even order three irons anymore. <laughs> yeah. I call up and say I want a three iron and they start laughing at me. In fact, <laughs> two years ago, I called up and tried to order him a two iron and they said, we built two two irons all year and you ain't one of them. <laughs> you don't get one of them. You don't get one of them. They didn't even have them. Okay. But hybrids are a big deal for us because number one, we're going to hit them on right. all our longer shots over 200 yards. But you know, I, I haven't been a big fan of hybrids because okay. they just line goal issues. Okay. And... But here's the deal. Callaway is one of the only companies in the world. In fact, they are the only company in the world that adjust line goals and hybrids. And that's why you had the big neck and the hybrid, they adjust the line goal. Mm -hmm. And that's all. And I'll give Chip Brewer. He used to be with Adams Golf. Now he's the CEO of Callaway. He actually created these big necks and made sure that they, he wanted all line goals to be adjusted in the hybrids. He knows how important it is because the longer the club, the angle is critical. So you also. made this flatter for me. So I made the flatter for you. It's the same thing here. We got that's now. All, that's what I. Now this I, is, I, I would hit Tim's hybrids. I'm like, dang it, Tim, your hybrids fit you better. Right, because he never got the angles. His old clubs didn't get angles adjusted. So, but what I did from this year is I didn't even let him get the long irons. He's got a four hybrid in there. He's got a three hybrid. Not because he can't hit them. It's because of the trajectory. Because when he hit his long irons, they come in low and hot. They're not going to hold a green. So you've got to hit a shot now that's got got height and distance. Yeah. So now what we did on this, and now no, notice, on this hybrid right here, it's got a little bit heavier shaft, which is the most hybrids, okay? This is a Mitsubishi shaft. It's a beautiful shaft, it's MMT shaft, okay? But this one right here is an 80-gram shaft, okay? Yep. So it's a little bit a little bit heavier than you'd get in your driver, your fairy wood, but a little bit lighter than your irons. That's the way, it, mm -hmm. so it kind of works its way up. Yeah. So this is 80 grams. So this is not a light shaft by any and stretch of the imagination. what's the loss of that hybrid? Um, well, this one right here is 23 degrees. What would you hit that? Club. This right here? How far would you hit that? Um, I'd probably hit this about 210, maybe 215. So that's long. Yeah. That's long. But now, but it's all but here's the deal. It's all about height. Right. I don't you can take a hybrid and hit it head high. Well, it's just worthless club. Right. It's all about height. All right, let's see how this how this feels here. Yeah, and see, so as a fitter, the first thing I'm gonna say is where did that ball do when what? Now, compare that trajectory to a foreign. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's easier to hit it that because high. you just hit a little thin yeah and yeah, it was perfect. easier like i miss hit that a little bit uh -huh. but it's still it's perfect you know, yeah now, it's good well, let's describe that let's before you hit this one if you had hit a foreign like that what would happen <laughs> how much distance you've lost oh all, almost all of it yeah. it would have gone 170 you know 170 I mean, and that yeah. one right there what do you think you hit that 200, one right there 200 yeah. 200 maybe yeah. 195 yep yeah yeah no it's all about it's all about that uh miss hit long shot because look nobody's good from 210 yards no right one. no one. you want to be you want to be making sure you hit it onto the green or, or, or have a, you know, right. You know and gonna... you've got to have height coming into that green. Yep. If you think when you pull out a hybrid, you think you can get there or you'd have a fairway in your hand. Right. So you need height to get there. So there's a high one. That's I hit that good right there. Look how high that is. Well, here's what's interesting. I mean, for a 210 yard shot, you know, that, I mean, uh, here's what's interesting in my bag. My lob wedge is my favorite club in my bag, obviously. My second favorite is my four hybrid. Really? No, it is because I get over that thing, I can cut it, I can draw it, I can hit it high, I can hit it low, I can do it, it's, I got all kinds of work. Nothing's better than getting over a 200, 210 yard shot and be able to hit this high shot into yeah. the green and holding it. So I love that yeah. shot. So, so every time you hit this, and as I would tell you, think about if you're trying to put a foreign in your hand, what comparison, because that's what it's all about. You might hit that three or four times around at the most, right. but the ease of hitting that compared to a long iron. Oh, so much easier. Plus it's longer, right? Yeah. And it makes, to me, I, 
I, I, this whole short club thing. Yeah. I like a little length of my golf clubs because I, I want to. I want to use the golf club. I don't want it to swing hard. It, it at helps it. you get speed. Yeah. See, as a fitter, for me, the first thing I saw is I'm looking at launch of the club, and that ball immediately went up. Yeah. It didn't come in low and go up. It went immediately went up. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not even really warmed up, and it's easy so to get in the air. So how does the line go in that feel? It's good. It's best so one compared I, best to the one I've seen so far. Compared to the ones you've had before. Yeah, they, all my they always sit to a price for me. Yeah. yeah. So no, that that's the biggest deal for me is it actually sits right. That's what I I had hybrids terrible because I I'm, I'm always fighting the line goal right. on the hybrid. Right. These will fit you. That's fit why you. I don't have them in my bag. <laughs> that's why I have four well, these irons. these will fit you perfect. Yeah. That's it. Perfect there. So you're playing Oak. So think about it right now. You're playing Oak Tree National number four. It's a 210 yard with railroad tie, Pete Dye don't course. Railroad ties in the front. You've got to carry this ball 205, and you got to stop in 30 yeah. feet. Could you do it with that club? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the point. And the best part is I can miss hit this club. Right. And it's going to be on the front of the green. So now could you do it with the foreign? No. That's the point. I hit in the water all the time. That's, with the, that's the point. <laughs> that's that's what the I point. Do. But now you know. But think about it. So now maybe a year, two years, three years from now, you may be putting a five hundred in your a five hybrid in your bag, right? Well, what's this one? This is a three, this right. is a three and a four. Well, yeah. I can only put a three and a four. You wouldn't accept a five, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't take a five. So right, I, I would have I mean, honestly not yet. No, there's a strong likelihood, and here's what's gonna happen. In July, he's gonna email me and say, give me the five hybrid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens every time. So All right, let's talk three wood. Okay. This is a nemesis for a lot of people. Right. This club. Right. Um I've always kind of fought the three wood as well, just right. because I, because uh, this one looks good. I mean, it's um, it's one of those clubs where you know as well as I do, these things come in and go out of your bag because right. you got to drive with it and hit off the fairway sure. with it. Right. Um, I haven't even seen this, the uh, Epic Speed one. That's an Epic Speed. Okay. Now let's talk about the makeup of that three wood. So obviously, in fairway woods, they don't do lie angle work, but it's because they have a more rounded front edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. The beauty of the Epic Speed is that we've got adjustable weighting system on the bottom. Oh, really? So what you had here is you, they did the same thing. They put a very low center of gravity because it can put a low weight in the club. Now, the Epic okay. Speed tends to put the weight towards the front of the club for better players. Okay, cool. The Epic Speed Max will drop it towards the back for average get players to get it up in the air a little easier. Okay. Because okay? the further the weight's back, the easier it is to get up. Now, with you, because you really don't have a problem with trajectory, we put the weight, we put an epic speed, the weight's in the front, but you know, it's just that weight that's in there, yep. it's all in the bottom in the front, okay. okay? Now, the other thing about this is obviously you have the artificial intelligence face, you got the, the cut face on there, so this is, this metal right here is the hottest metal in golf, or the hottest face in golf. You're going to Well, no, no, it's, it's the hottest one there is out there. And so the first, now, but... Here's the thing I want. You've never hit this club before. You never have, right? Right. We have the same shaft in that that you basically had in your hybrid, okay? Yep. Now, it's going to be a little bit lighter. 70, so, 70. 70, so a little lighter like it's supposed to be. Okay, now, here's the deal. For fairway woods, for good players, it's about sound and about immediate trajectory. Okay. So it can't come off too high too fast or too low too fast. It's about sound and about trajectory. And so that would be my, you have never hit this club, so that's what I want you to react to on this one. Okay. That doesn't count because I towed it. Let me try one more. I mean, it, it flew good. <laughs> well, I bet every one of the guys out there would have no idea you towed that. It, you yeah, just, it flew good. You I just mean, crushed it. <laughs> it flew good. I just, I just felt you, it come no, off the No, you just crushed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, no, it was a good shot. I just, I just didn't feel that good to me. You just, you just crushed that. Yeah. Hmm. So I hit that good. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about that trajectory? I think it's I think good. it's awesome. Yeah. Because remember, too high, the ball's not going to roll enough. Too low, it's down a fairy wood. Too low, you don't get your maximum fly. So you know how far you hit a normal three wood. Hit this one, feel it, look at it. Tell me what you think you're hitting this. I mean, distance wise. Uh, that probably went 240 maybe okay. in the air. So rolling 260 maybe. Yeah, 255 yeah, maybe. 255. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm yeah. that long, but. Okay. The other thing I would do probably is tee a few up. Yeah, with sure. It, you know, sure. to hit it off the tee to see what it feels like. That's my biggest thing is off the tee. Mm -hmm. Pretty high. It's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I would now remember the big thing about a three wood is the loft because most golfers should don't have the speed to hit a three wood. Yeah. So they hit a four or five wood. So you're always trying to figure out the tee height, the trajectory of it. You know, is it the proper club for you? And then, you know, we're not going to go to a two wood, obviously. Right. So it's really more about shaft flex for height than this for you. There you go. I can't hit it better than that, right? There. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, and, and that's, that's perfect height. That's too. What do you think? 250 if it gets going a little bit? No, I'd say, yeah, probably 260, 270 roll. I yeah. mean, the back of this range is 300 and you're getting close to it. Yeah, so, that one's solid. Yeah, so, that's good. Yeah. 
So, uh, you know, and what I look for too, like if you look at the face in this, mm -hmm. I like a little bit shallow, but not crazy shallow. Mm -hmm. And then something you hit off a tight lie. Right. Because how many, how many, look at the lies out here. Yeah, I mean, three was crazy. hard to hit out here they're because crazy. you get these really super then, tight but, lies. But remember, the thing you're going to find out about this club real quick, the Epic Speed or the Epic Speed Match, most of them, they put a very low center of gravity. And that's why I was wondering about the height of that oh, because yeah. because here's what we could do if we on the dry on the off tee because well and that's why you may tee it a little bit lower than you're used to because which I would know, recommend right anyway. be, well because your other driver didn't have low the other three wood didn't have the low center of gravity so this is going to launch a little higher but their thing is is on really tight lives that low center of gravity will kick it up yeah and that's why they wanted to do that better lower center of gravity than high yeah so I agree good in the air yep yep all right last club yep driver driver of course we, we saved the best for last year <laughs> well it's also the one that you really got to kind of got to work the hardest I'll on because or so. it's really yeah. the one that when you're talking about a driver we talk about length we talk about loft we talk about shaft flex and and you know me tim knows me better than anybody because we play golf our whole lives together i pound drivers like that's that's all i do is hit drivers because well, i think for every wedge i hit he hits a driver. <laughs> yeah. so, no, it yeah. is. It is. Yeah. I mean, if we have a practice session and I hit, uh, if I hit 50 drivers and I hit 100 wedges, Todd's hit 150 drivers yeah. and 25 wedges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love so, that driver. So he'll wear out a driver. Like when I wear out a wedge a month, he's going to wear out a driver every couple months. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah. So I'm particular about this. But, but okay. You know, so, so let's talk about yeah. this driver real quick. Okay. So we've got, we've got an Epic Speed Max. Now, Epic Speed Max is the number one hottest driver out there. Okay. No doubt about it. Okay, here's the thing. It's got the adjustable weight in the back. Okay. So we can, I mean, it's got the slider weight. They put it back into it. So we can start adjust a little bit. Now, hopefully for you, it'll be in the center. You want to do enough, much adjustment, but you could, there's 21 yard adjustment between toe and heel. Up to, so you can go 21 oh. yards between, right to left, exactly, Persian. okay? Second thing in you, you tend to, you've got good swing speed. You're the upper end swing speed, so we got the max LS for you, which is okay. low spin. 90% of people, or actually about 95%, would need just epic max. The beauty of the Epic Max compared to the uh, is that it's got a little more toe and heel forgiveness. It's got a bigger sweet spot across, not quite as deep. So this has got more so the toe and heel in this are hotter. So you'll see, you may not feel it as much, but you start hitting a little toe towards the oh, heel toe. On yeah, you will get the good distance on this. Okay. Now, so, and there's tons and tons of adjustability. We got slider adjustability, we got neck adjustability for, for loft. For, you know, What's the loft on our, it's, it's set, it's it's set nine at nine, nine, it's set nine, nine right now? Now it could go as far down as eight. We could bring Which it I'll all, probably, I'll end up probably turning We can go all the way up to 11. Okay, now it, you can't get, now you could go to the tour department and get lower, but an LS already has low spin. So I might this, like it like this that. yeah, you might like it. You, you may go on a little bit, but you tend to, you have a tendency, and this is just your tendency. You tendency to swing, to tee it up higher than a lot of people, and you tendency is to swing up on this. So yeah. if Todd has any issue at all, he puts the ball too far forward in his And stance. I overspin it. He overspins it. Yeah. And that's a big thing. So we're always trying to take, I'm trying to increase spin on mine. He's always trying to decrease spin on his. Exactly. That's good there. No, seriously. <laughs> I hit a lot of drivers. Now, so I, I know. But, I know good trajectory. But now, last thing. I'm gonna, I'll end up hit one more, but I'm going to do one last thing. because There's one thing I didn't talk about. It's going to freak him out because I did this intentionally. Now, we can do all kinds of stuff and adjust and tweak and do things, but I know him too well. But I did something here he doesn't know about. I'm going to show you. So I want to hit another one. This is going to freak him and out. Tim knows how hard it is to get a different driver in my bag. Well, I it's could, for all of us. Any yeah. good player, the, the hardest club to change is your wedge and your driver. Yeah. Let's just be honest. And then your putter. Because you always go back to the go-to. Yeah. I know yeah. I can hit this yeah, in the yeah. fairway. Yeah. But he's going to hit one more. That's very long. <laughs> that's really long. That's really long. That's not Matthew Wolf who practices here all the time. Right, long no, that's not Matthew. No, well. But now, let's talk about it. Look at the shaft and tell me what you see in the shaft. What is it? 60. 60, yeah. It's 60 now. It's actually about 55. So okay. you lighten it up? I lighten it up. Yeah. I took 10 grams off his shaft as I did versus last year when he was hitting yeah. because he came to me I'm and said he, he said he wants speed. Well, the best way for raw speed increase is a lighten up shaft. And shaft. it's the biggest thing Callaway has done is they started putting 40 gram shafts, 50 gram shafts. Really? Even in, in, in um, seniors. What's, in, go, what's in yours? What's mine? Well, I got a 62 in mine. I'm going to go down to 55 this year. But that's what you're feeling right now and you're crushing that. Yeah. So, in fact, it's kind of interesting. We shot this video and I knew he was thinking the driver would be the one that, oh, do I like it or do yeah. I not? He just hit three that if we played in Vegas right now would have won even more, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, so for me, God, it just has to sit right. Oh, yeah. You know? And that's, well, how this, does that look? This sits great. I mean, yeah. it's better than last year's, right? right. So no, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. 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 And so it's sitting, it's sitting good because I, I don't have any, that's my first thing is right. does it sit where I don't look like I'm going to hook it or something. Right. 
And then, um, and then obviously trajectory, but spin rate, because I spin always spin right, the ball too right. much, right? So. Wow, that's even hit high. Look at that thing go. Yep. Yeah, this, so now this, has a, this, so this has a 82% chance <laughs> of getting in my bag. <laughs> well, here's what'll happen. He won't put it in his bag right away because he's like any good player, and I'll have mine in my bag. And then the next time we go out and play, he'll have his in his I'll bag. I'll have two. Yeah, I'll have this exactly. and my other one. Exactly. And I'll be doing the comparisons. But now, let's do something here. Let's, let's have some fun here. Because if you want to know what a real player does, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, tell, I'm going to ask Todd right now to hit one a little bit lower with the cut. I'm going to say, can he hit a low cut off this? Because if he can really, if it's a good driver, it should be workable. Yeah, that's a lower cut. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. And so now I'm going to sit there and say, can you hit a high draw? So I'm going to do the same thing here and say, can you hit a high draw? Because if you want a feel of a great driver, you've got to be able to play a few different shots with it. Yeah. That's, compared, now, That's now, so now, just, now, so for right now, if I was saying feel-wise, what do you think? Well, you know what the problem with my, my Taylor, my driver yeah, yeah. that I've been hitting? Yeah. It almost under, it like, it like underspins it. Right. Like it dead, it kills right. it. So when I don't quite hit it solid, it like, but let's talk about this for a second here because this is what Callaway's all about. And that's why I really promote Callaway. We talk Callaway. And we're not going to bring other companies out and we don't have to bring their names out now, but people know what we're talking about. Callaway and all the companies out there, if you hit the club dead in the sweet spot, you're going to see no difference. In fact, because right. we can get the same shaft in the club. It's all the same. Mass it's mass. not about the sweet spot. Even yes, you, sir. who probably have one of the best single plane swings are out there, I mean, you're the model for it, you're going to miss off the sweet spot every so often. Well, like that one, like, let me hit one off the toe. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. And so when you're feeling a pure distance here is that's why I talked about how wide the sweet spot. The artificial intelligence that's built in this club is not a hot sweet spot. It's a hot, hot, hot not miss. Sweet spot. It's miss hit hot. Let me miss hit no. Sure. Keenan will put a shot tracer on this probably, but let's let me it's, hit it off. It's the, a miss hit hot. I'm gonna toe hit this one okay. a little bit. So I towed the shit out of that. Look at that. That's so good. Look, okay. here's the thing about that, and I'll show I'm gonna show you where I hit that. And you can't maybe you can see the ball mark. I hit oh, it, I right, see it right there. Right there. It's actually it's actually about so the center is here, it's probably a quarter inch, maybe, maybe close to half inch off center. I hit it right in that white dot. Right, right. That was a quarter inch toe. Now here's the thing, and I know enough about golf clubs to know that when you hit it a quarter inch of the toe, that it should hook. Okay, like it there should you go. hook. What did it do? It didn't. In fact, it went dead straight, it didn't went, it? It went so straight. 100% artificial intelligence right there. This yeah. is what they do in Iron Byron because they fire millions of shots off the toe and heel. Yeah. We've watched it. Oh, I've done it. Right. That's the thing about it. It should, it should deflect and hook, and that one didn't hook. It didn't, didn't at all, did it? Crazy. <laughs> I'm going to hit it off the heel. Is that nuts? That's nuts. I'm going to hit it off the heel this yeah, time. That's nuts, isn't it? I'm not very good at hitting off the heel. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I look at you. You're the toe miss on the heel miss. <laughs> I know. It's there kind of funny. We're exactly the opposite. Right off the heel. Look at that. That's sweet. That was way off the heel, by the way. Yeah. That was like right there. Yeah, that was almost towards hosel. Yeah, <laughs> that was almost towards hosel. <laughs> and, what, and what it did what? It, it just faded slightly. And flat, but is it still in the fairway? Oh, God. It's right in the perfect. I mean, it was yeah. hit good. What, what's crazy is trajectory. Yeah. See, the spin wasn't that yeah, bad. Yeah. It, it shouldn't spin up. Right. now. Nah. Yeah, well, I'm not like this driver. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's hard for me to like a driver. I know it is. It's a pretty good player. Towed it again, but that's perfect. Look at that. That's so good. Like all day long. Yeah. That's what you want. So, so the basic on the driver we did is we made sure we got the right law for you. We got the right length for you. We got the right grip size. And I it looks up, a lot better than I thought and, it would. And I lightened up the shaft a little bit for you. It looks better than I thought yeah, it would. Yeah. You know? I mean, I was always like, that's yeah. the, that's the, that's the number one comment I get. Cause I mean, we've sold, I've sold hundreds and hundreds of epic speeds, maxes and epic speeds. The number one comment I get is how good it looks. But remember what you're doing right now is playing with artificial intelligence. Oh God. And this is what they, they built their, uh, you know, their, their, their computer, their smart computer. It was all, it wasn't about center hits. It was about miss hits. Yeah. So I can't wait to spend some time with this thing yeah. and, and just do some sure. work out here into the wind and stuff. So, Thanks, brother. Yep, you I got love it. the equipment. Yep. Thanks for everything. Thanks yep. for Callaway Golf. Um, guys, look, single plane fit. My brothers designed the entire single plane fit system. If you're going to be a single planer and get into it, you got to get fit right. Get a hold of Tim. I'll put some links below on the thing. Make sure you get the right fitting equipment. It makes all the difference in the world. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you. Thumbs up. Hit the bell icon, and we'll see you again on this channel.